The spoken thought, this message to all the ladies out there. I want you to find your higher self and understand your higher self. Understand what you are a descending goddess that's living out the manifestation of a female, a girl, woman, lady, only return through heaven's gate as a goddess. And only Jesus can grant that, but you have to understand how you get there. Not by man titles. Stop living for man. Live for God. You have two men above you. That's Jesus and God. Beyond what man can ever be. The only thing we can come close to me, God and Jesus is in our celestial form as an angel, a guardian angel, a father to God's child on earth, because the true father is in heaven. But you are that mother to that child on earth, and you'll be the mother to that child in heaven. You are a goddess. You come from God's rib, not man's rib, God's rib. God comes to the womb of a woman, the womb, for nine to ten months. He produces a fetus out of female of a female of a female that that fee of a female is the most powerful thing you have because that child comes from your feet the fetus when you understand that and understand who you are then you can live out your manifestation truly a lady doesn't have no man in her god will not accept a man in heaven's gate a woman or a man and if you have, truly ask a man a man would never stand in front of god as a man he knows that's not he has no need to be tough or strong. We all, every day, walk around trying to be tough and strong. Ask yourself, how do you want to be treated at the end of the day? Tough or gentle? A man is a tough creature. A gentleman is the first part of himself. That's when he becomes a creature too. Gentle man. And even when he goes to heaven, he drops off the man and become a gentle angel. You carry many titles. A lady a mother, and a goddess. I am nothing but a gentle angel trying to live up to my angel status. Do on the earth as you would do in the heaven. My job as an angel is to pass a message around. Understand the definition of an angel. Listen. Intrigue me for a second. Now, angel is usually defined as one of a class of spiritual beings, a celestial attendant of God. In medieval angelology, Angels constituted the lowest of the nine celestial orders, seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominations or dominions, virtues, powers, principalities or princedoms, archangels, and angels. As a verb, angel is usually defined as to provide financial backing for. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for angel. To me, that's the definition of a man, to provide financial backing. The labor you do, you don't do for man. You do for God for nine to 10 months. And one of your gifts that God gives you is for a man to provide for you, to provide for that child. You're a goddess and God's child. The, when you feel that a man is supposed to take care of you, absolutely. And it's not a man that's going to take care of you. It's a gentleman because the gentleman knows his responsibilities without being told. A man don't want to be told nothing. A gentleman, you don't have to tell him anything. A woman, she feels she needs to tell somebody something. That's why you don't want to be in that stage and stuck in that stage. When you become a lady, you'll choose what's worthy of you on a mental and emotional level and reward him with the physical, the MEP, mental, emotional, and physical. Understand that. Understand your higher self. Understand what a goddess is. Please intrigue me. The noun, goddess, can have a few meanings. One, a female god or deity. Two, a woman of extraordinary beauty and charm. Three, a greatly admired or adored woman. Understanding that you are a goddess. Think like a goddess, speak like a goddess, and you truly would carry yourself as a goddess on earth. No, I, I cannot stand a woman. She has too much man in her, especially if I'm trying to be a gentleman. I will never submit or answer to a woman in my gentleman stage. And a woman, she's doing too much running from a man to be chased and want a man to chase her, want a man to ask for her, look for her, hunt her. And a man will do that, but he will never desire you. He will want you. You got to understand the difference between want and desire. I desire to be an angel, so I chase the fact of being an angel, carry myself to deliver this message, the message I'm saying to you now. I don't know what you're going to get from it. 
take the time to think about it. That's you having a conversation with Jesus and God. What comes of that conversation is called wisdom. When you truly believe in that wisdom, that's the mysterious part. You got to choose between positive and negative. I believe my God is positive. I believe Jesus is positive. So my job is to receive the positiveness from that message. And I come to realize a man, we do not connect to our mental or emotional until we're in our gentleman stage. That's the mentalness. The mental and emotion is mixed together. Then I'm only worthy of a lady physicalness. I will never travel through heaven gates as a man. I will never stand in front of my God as a man when I know it's the lower of the creature of who I am. If God won't accept a man, why would I try to stand in front of God as a man? I know the true strength of a male is a gentleman. That's when he has all three, the mental, the emotional, and the physical. We provide, parent, and protect. Most men, fathers, we only get teaching our child, male child, how to protect. We need to teach him how to provide and parent the child. Parent the child, provide for the lady, and protect both. Understand that? And that's the only thing that knows that is a gentleman. You don't have to tell him that. If we ask a man, and man had the opportunity, or a male had the opportunity to stand in front of Jesus and God, he'll be a fool to stand in front of Jesus and God as a man. A man is the symbol of tough and strength. There's no need for us to be strong and tough in front of our Savior and our protector or God. So why would I even choose something a lower stage of myself? The highest stage I can be on earth, the highest stage, is a gentleman stage. I can I did not become a gentle angel. I cannot be a man angel. There's no need for me strong in heaven. God is all that in Jesus. Jesus is not gonna let nothing through heaven's gate to see his father in a man stage or a woman stage. Don't be offended by that. Just understand that. Take the time and think about it. I'm delivering a message for you to think about. Thinking about your thoughts is having a conversation with Jesus and God. What comes of that conversation is called wisdom. And only Jesus and God can give you true wisdom. The stuff I may sound, say may sound wise. I'm not sure. It's not my responsibility to figure out if you got the message. It's yours. And when you get the message and you believe in that message, speak that message. When you speak your thoughts, you speak the word of God and Jesus. Find the best vocabulary and utilize it. Do some respect for Jesus' thoughts and God's thoughts that's in your head that's going to come out your mouth. God don't care about man-made words. He cares about the intent behind the words, the meaning behind the words. If I believe in religion, if I believe my God believes in religion, I believe my God is crazy. We run from Jehovah. Catholic can't stand Christian. Christian can't stand Catholic. Every other denomination have issues with it. I believe in God and I believe in Jesus. I believe a woman comes from God's rib, not man's rib. I believe a woman bleeds the blood of God, carry God's child, and live through birth. I believe a woman, a female, a lady, she gives birth to God's child, not my child. Even though God took the seed of a man and the egg of a woman, and his spirit bonded them together, that's why we are gods. We come from God. No different you, you come from your mother and your father. You are part of them. We are part of God. God. So when you hear Kanye West say we are gods and he's a God, he's not wrong. I know he comes across in a such a crazy way, but there's many reasons for that. If he made sense to you and really was wise enough to make to penetrate your mind mentally and emotionally, you follow him. Guess what? Was society, was society accept him? Think about it. So get the message that he's trying to tell you. Don't believe everything you read. The Bible, mm, the Bible is something written by man. That's the false God. You get misled by that and that's all you want to believe and you cannot listen to anything else. Then guess what? You're believing in a false God. The Bible is written by man. I'm not saying everything in the Bible is wrong. They're nothing but messengers of God and Jesus. But sometimes that message get mixed up. And when they wrote that Bible, my opinion, they have never wrote anything good about a black man in there. Black person. 
So why would I believe in something that does not believe in me? Common sense. It's not common amongst human beings. It's common between you, Jesus, and God. And once that common become reality to you, then it will make sense to you. When before I used to think common sense was supposed to be among, amongst human beings, no. It should be purchased. Sense. Some people need to go buy it because everybody don't have common sense. And common, when they think they don't have it because they don't relate or understand me, don't mean they're wrong. We look for what's wrong when we need to figure out what's right. Because it's not, what I'm saying may not be right for you. Don't mean it's wrong. It's just not right for you right now. And when you come to realize that, then you accept your thoughts and speaking your thoughts. Listen to what the Bible is. Intrigue me. The noun, Bible, can have a few meanings. One, the collection of sacred writings of the Christian religion comprising the Old and New Testaments. Two, the collection of sacred writings of the Jewish religion known to Christians as the Old Testament. Three, the sacred writings of any religion. Four, any book, reference work, periodical, etc., accepted as authoritative, informative, or reliable. OMG will be in the Bible probably the next 20 years. Oh my God. Right? It does it really mean that? Are you really thinking about God when you say OMG? Don't believe everything you read. Anybody can be anything in a man-made book. Watch how Bible get manufactured and you come and realize it's nothing but a typical book. It's not that it's going to mislead you, but that's the only thing you truly believe in and you cannot let anything penetrate you mentally or emotionally. Understand your mental is your energy. It's your spirit. Your emotion is your living soul. When you, care, when you keep your emotion and your energy positive, you keep your soul and your energy positive. Then you receive a positive message from Jesus and God. And before we can even say God, ask for God, talk to God, we have to go through just Jesus. And it's disrespectful if you try to bypass Jesus and speak to his father. Would you let me speak to your mother and father if you don't trust me or know me yet? We are built in the image of Jesus and God. We are the children of God. And Jesus is truly the son of God. And I believe God gave Jesus domain over heaven's gate because he gave his life for us. Say the name Jesus. It is truly a beautiful thing. Jesus, just for us. He gave his life just for us. Jesus. Don't it make sound, sense? It feels good when you say it. Ladies, you are truly a goddess. You're so much more than a physicalness. And your physicalness is way stronger than any man could have. You can bleed for seven days, carry a child for nine months, and live through a birth. To me, it sounds like you almost can walk on water. And when you believe in your higher self, you see things at a higher self, at a higher level. You cannot return to heaven as a woman goddess. A lady goddess, because God ain't going to let no man in any form, woman form or man form, through heaven's gates. God kicked the devil out. And the devil is really not a person, it's a mentality. A bunch of words put together creates a vocabulary. When a bunch of words put together, it would tell you that person's mentality. If I put a whole bunch of hood words together, talking like I'm from the hood, nothing come out of my mouth but hood words, then I have a hood mentality. If I put a whole bunch of words together, from the vocabulary, create a trailer park trash vocabulary, truckers, vocabulary, then I have a trailer park trash mentality. Understand the words that have been spoken at you and the words that you're speaking. And understand what the point that you're trying to make. All males are nothing but angels, guardian angels. We heard of guardian angels. The definition you even have for a goddess to me is disappointing. The Bible is about father this, father that. I truly believe a female is closer to God than any man, male, or gentleman can ever get. He comes to a woman's womb for nine to 10 months. When you are pregnant, 
when your fruit is ripe, you bleed the blood of God, then he knows it's time for you when he chooses, regardless how it comes to you, regardless the trials and tribulation of man that may subject you to it, regardless the most harshest event, you still can become pregnant with God's child. That is between you and God. If he chose for you to have a baby, his child, don't ask man. Don't never ask man to believe in man. Have a baby for a man. As I stated, he was disappoint you. Have that baby and know you're having that baby for God. And when that time you are pregnant, take the time to think about your thoughts, about what you want in that child. Prepare that child for hell, for earth. Ask God to give that child everything that it needs to survive his trials and tribulations that was given by Jesus, okay by God. We ain't nothing but soldiers of Jesus living out our manifestation on earth, in hell. Jesus know what we need to survive. He know why the particular piece of the puzzle, which is happened to be you, why he wants you to do the things you need to do. Believe it within who you are what you are and it become much more clear it won't be mysterious you are here to show Jesus and God that you can make it back through heaven's gate regardless of your trials and tribulations you live a good life on earth and hell righteous not to hurt one of God's children the materialistic and the physical things on earth don't really have no dealing in heaven you cannot even take your physical being to heaven only your celestial being. And your celestial being is the angel in you and the goddess in you. Have a blessed day.